Well, here we are the next morning doing the nitrogen pressure decay test and we have a black screen. So we have a black screen because the batteries ran out. But the batteries ran out because I let them run out. Because I've had this gauge on for an entire week, 24-7, with the bright light screen on. Because I wanted to see how long the batteries would last before they ran out. Unfortunately, they did run out while I was in the middle of doing a uh, nitrogen pressure decay test on the, the um, assembly here on this manifold on the 557S. So I'll have to do this test again, but this lets me know that the battery life on this new unit is excellent. Unlike other manufacturers and previous models who claim a certain battery life, but yet the system dies much earlier and we all get frustrated and we never believe the system. This, the battery life is pretty damn good. So let's see how much battery there is left here. Oh, let's, let's press the right one. So we'll turn on, and as we can see right here in the corner, the battery is nada, nothing left. But remember our pressure test last night was at 469. And let's go into the menu and go into measuring. And what we were at, we were at pressure leak test so let's go back to that because i guess when the battery dies its default is go go back to the sub uh, okay there we go so yesterday we had 460 psi of nitrogen in the system now we have 469 psi of nitrogen in the system and do i have the temperature where's my temperature probe Maybe I didn't turn on the temperature probe. I don't see. I, I should have like stuck it right here or something like that. But I'm going to have to run this test again. Uh, because the battery died, I'll put fresh batteries in it. And if you would see that we probably have like 16 hours or something like that. Because this it's, it's now, uh, I think it's about 11 a.m. in the morning. And I did this yesterday uh, in the evening, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock p.m., 6 o'clock p.m., something like that. And we're into almost lunchtime now the next day. But the heater has kicked on in this room, so this room is about 80 degrees right now. And I think I was performing this test and the room is at about 65, but that still doesn't count. I'm not going to trust this test, but this just did the battery test on how long a battery takes. Leaving the display in the lit position for an entire week, no problem at all. Uh, let's go into... Well, let me open up both these gauges. Let's, or actually, let me... Uh, Let's choose something else. Let's look around. Let's do a little experimentation. Let's go up. Super heat. Let's go back to this. Now, this one says zero. That is concerning because this is nice and tight. This is nice and tight. This is the low side. This is tight. Why am I at zero? This should be at 460 or it went plus because probably because it's much higher this should not be at zero so that's very concerning why i went all the way to zero is it my hoses is it the fitting on the hoses is it the seals these are brand new hoses this was closed and this reads zero so we know we have pressure stuck in the center here so let's open this up i'm going to open up and see what happens i heard something definitely some pressure went over into the hose, but it's only 72 PSI because that was only the 460 PSI of nitrogen trapped in between the manifold in the sight glass right there. Just went into the hoses that were at zero PSI at atmospheric. So that 460 PSI in that small volume was able to fill this entire hose up to 70 PSI. So now let's open up this other gauge right here that is at 469 so I'm gonna open up this and release this refrigerant across the manifold into this hose and we'll see that pop up okay there you go so now we basically have that in half almost uh, other than I released what was in the middle into here and so now these are equal together they're all one unit one device this is attached to this through the passage between the two knobs and then I, should, I think I have some trapped inside the yellow hose nope it went the other way 
it lost pressure. So that means it bled out. My diaphragm has a leak. So even though this had 460 PSI in it, this one right here bled out. So there is an issue and I, I have this one side higher than the other side. You want to make it, you know, reverse, you know, you can see that, read that. So I have an issue here. I have to determine whether it was my hoses that leaked down to zero atmosphere or was it through the valving? There's, see where the swivels, oh, let me see if, watch this. You see that swivel? So this part of the gauge literally goes up inside the lumen block and there's seals under here. And these could come apart too and there's O-ring gaskets under there. So now I have to determine, did I lose my nitrogen pressure through the seal between the lumen block valve body and the brass fittings below? So now I have to step, this is a brand new out of the box and it just failed the nitrogen credit. Was it the Testos that failed or was it these brand new yellow jacket hoses that failed? Was it the seals? Now I know I have the seals tight and I know I have Nylog on the seals. Theoretically, they should not leak. So there's more work to be done to determine whether the failure and the leakage was the fault of the hoses or the fault of the gauges. Uh, next video will reveal, hopefully, I, ha I have another job to go out to, so it's time to go to work. It's a Saturday, but I got another thing to do. You'll see some video on that. Come back to this later on this evening. All right, guys, I will see you later, and we will determine what caused the nitrogen to leak out of this gauge set, whether it was the hoses or the gauges.